Hi friends, let's see our next hacker rank problem which is circular array rotation. So the difficulty of this program is easy and the max score allocated for this program is 20 points. Okay. Now let's see the problem statement. So the problem statement describes that. So John Watson knows of an operation called a circular array rotation of an array of integers. So one rotation operation means moves the last array of an element to the first position and shifts all the remaining elements to the right by one point. So here to test Sherlock's abilities, Watson provides Sherlock with an array of integers. Sherlock is to perform the rotation operation a number of times then determine the value of the element at the given position okay so for each array perform a number of circular array rotations and return the values of the elements at the given indices so at this junction the problem state statement seems to be a bit confusing now but after seeing an exa example it will be very much easier so let's see this example as per the problem statement so here in the example a is an array which consists of three elements 3 4 5 I mean the length of the array is 3 and k is equals to 2 and quiris is the it is also an array which consists of 1 and 2 so here what we need to do is actually let me explain here a represents the array I mean the given array in which you need we are supposed to perform the operations and k is the number of times we need to perform the operation okay and queries is nothing but after the I mean after performing the operations finally at the, that means at the final array we need to return these corresponding indices with respect to that particular array okay now let us see this statement so, I mean uh, in this example actually the given array is 3 4 5 here we need to perform the circular array rotation by two times that means so this is the given array so after performing the first operation I mean the first rotation the array becomes that means the last elements goes to the first place that means 5 comes to the first place and rest of the elements moves to the one point by right that means it, the after 3 4 that means after the first operation the array becomes 5 3 4 and similarly if you perform one more operation because here k is equals to 2 so we need to perform two operations for the given array so this is the first operation in the first operation the array becomes 534 and after the second operation similarly the, the last element that means 4 comes to the first place and 5 and 3 moves to the right by one bit that means the uh, becomes 4 5 and 3 so this is the finalized array that means after performing all the operations this is the finalized array so in this finalized array we are supposed to return the index 1 and index 2 as we know in the array the index always starts from 0th position okay so here in the finalized array the index value starts from 0 to 2 okay so 4 is the index at is at index 0 and 5 is at index 1 and 3 is at index 2 okay so we are supposed to return the elements which are at the index of 1 and 2 that means we need to return 5 and 3 that means the result of this particular circular array rotation will be 5 and 3 okay so I hope with this example we can move ahead with the problem so yeah let's see the function description so in the function there will be three arguments a k and queries okay so a is going to be an array on which we need to perform the operations okay and k is nothing but the rotation count how many times we need to perform such operation and queries is nothing but at the final after performing all the operations in the from the finalized array so what are all the difference in this value we need to return so those will be the queries okay so let me see the sample input so this is a sample input so in the sample input so let us see this one so a so the first value is the a so a is nothing but the so this is the array so let me show you. so in this case so this is the array so here the first line contains three space integers n k and q 
okay the number of uh, the number of elements in the integer array the rotation count and the queries okay so this is the number of elements in the array so the array is actually one two three so this is the array on which we need to perform the operations okay and k k is nothing but the this is the k value so k is nothing but the number of times we need to perform operation that means okay and next one is the number of queries so total how many queries we have we have three queries okay so let me explain the sample input one more time if you observe the first row so in the first row the first three represents the size of an array the given array which is one two and three and second line represents i mean the second element represents the number of operations we need to perform so here the number of operations we need to perform is two and third one is the queries length that means what are the queries now we need to pair return three queries okay the three queries are zero one and two okay yeah so this is a sample input now let's see suppose this is a given array one two three and as we know we need to perform two operations so after the first operation the array becomes three one and two because the third element that means the last element moves to the first position and rest of the elements and the elements are moving to the right by one bit so after the first operation it becomes three one two and after the second operation it becomes two three and one okay now from which we need to return the zeroth index first index and the second index okay so the zeroth index is going to be 2 and the second in first index is going to be the 3 and third index sorry second index is going to be 1 so the finalized array output is going to be 2 3 and 1 okay now i think it was very much clear enough so now we can go ahead to solve the problem so as usual let me select the programming language type as javascript yeah, in my initial it was selected as Java 7. So let me select it to JavaScript Node.js. Now, yeah. So this is the function where we need to write the code. Now, as usual, what we need to do is initially let us console and see what are all the inputs that it was given. Okay. So simply let me console log of the given inputs so the given inputs are a k and queries so let me console log so don't worry here definitely we are going to get the uh, error because I'm, i haven't done it anything so i'm just simply consoling the function parameters and i'm checking the values so let me run the code and check so this is the array which is the a is that this is the array on which we need to perform the operations so <coughs> this is a and the next is k k is nothing but the number of times we need to perform the operation which is 2 and this is the resultant array on which i mean in the from the resultant array we need to print these indices the zero the first and second indices we need to print okay now let's go to the code so simply let me remove this one and let me write the code so here the first thing is first i need to here actually we, let us divide this problem into two parts so the first part is we need to perform the operations and the second part is we need to print the respect to indices given with uh, of the particular resultant array okay so now what i'm doing is i'm simply writing a for loop for let i is equals to zero i is less than k because these many times I need to perform the operation and I plus plus so now what I'm use I'm doing is I need to remove the first element okay so what I need to do I need to remove the last element in the from the array and I need to place that element to the first position so that all the other elements will be moving to the right by one bit okay so now what I'm doing is a dot unshift so on shift is nothing but I am going to add the element to the first position. So what element I need to add at the first position? First of all, I need to remove the element, the last element. Okay. So a dot pop. So this particular line of code represents we are adding the last element. That means we are popping out the last element from the array and we are adding it to the first position using on shift. Okay. Now let me take a simple argument. resultant array 
as an empty array let me take it as an empty for now okay now let me write another for loop so for let j is less than queries queries dot length so this queries also is an as an array so i am taking queries dot length so now what i am doing is so i am pushing so to the resultant array resultant array dot push so what i need to push i need to push the values with respect to the i mean i need to push the elements in the particular indices okay of the given array i mean the resultant array so a of queries of queries of j okay that's all and let me return the resultant array yeah now let me run the code yeah it passes the sample test case so before submitting the code let me go through the code walk through for a uh, very quickly so here actually in this problem as you said we are supposed to divide this particular problem into two stages so the first stage is we need to perform the operations okay for the given number of times and the second one is from the resultant array we need to print the i mean we need to result the return the respective values with respect to the given indices okay so this is the first stage so what i'm doing is here i am simply popping out the last element from the array and i'm adding to the first place in the given array and the next what i'm doing is so here with this we are getting the resultant array but we want we don't want the complete array we want only the indices which are asked in the particular array so that i'm taking one more for loop and i'm iterating through the queries okay so the queries is an array and finally i am pushing those required elements to the resultant array and i'm returning the resultant array okay now let me submit the code yeah it passes all the test cases and i have and 20 points Thanks for watching. Let's see in the next hacker ring problem. Thank you.